Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you're in the conga room. Perhaps the closest anyone can get inside Laurie Anderson's mind is this virtual reality world she created with a collaborator in Taiwan. It's a world uh, that looks spatial, but it's made of words and drawings. Whoa. It feels as though you're flying inside a work of art. You've been working with technology for 40 years now. Does it still fascinate you? Yeah, I, it does. I, I'm still a geek, you know? <laughs> I like it. I don't think I, I worship it. It's not the savior of that. Oh, no. Some hope. No. And this was said to me by a cryptologist. If you think technology is going to solve your problems, you don't understand technology and you don't understand your problems. <laughs> and I like that very much because it, you know, people just go, oh yeah, that's gonna fix it. Really? Lori Anderson's largest ever U.S. exhibition is currently on display at the Smithsonian's Hirshhorn Museum on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. It's an odyssey through her singular creative life. It seems very ominous to me. Good. There's so much flag waving these days, and it becomes quite mechanical in some ways. And I guess I'm terrified of the rise of fascism around the world, frankly. Wow. <laughs> In one room, she's painted words and images that seem to explode onto the walls and floor. It's a kind of multi-dimensional sketchbook of her thoughts, dreams, and stories. Did you map this out before no, you did I it? No, I should have. New ideas are built on older works. She first came up with this concept in the 1970s. This is called Citizens. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> miniature clay figures with video of people projected onto them. Uh, and they all, I feel like, want to kill me. <laughs> they, they think, this one They're does. all sharpening knives. Because I think it's like, people like elves, right? You know, uh -huh. and fairies. Yeah. So I think that's, that's for me is the fascination of. These of, are like, some the, badass fairies, <laughs> I mean. From miniatures to monuments. We didn't see the sun, we didn't see the fresh air for weeks. In another room, another story. This one told by a giant video projection of Mohammed El Garani, held for seven years in Guantanamo as a teenager without charge until a judge released him. For me, I gave this person a megaphone to say, it's your turn, what do you have to say? It was, this is not about my opinions of what happened here. This is Mohammed El Garani's story. Lori Anderson is 74 now and still conjuring up new stories and new ways to tell them. I'm not an artist to make the world a better place. This is not my goal, you know, at all, except like secretly. <laughs>